On February 12, 1947, a large iron meteorite landed in Primorye, Russia. It was, it was the Sokotaline. And over the last few years, I've gathered a few examples. So I thought today we'd take a look at the collection I have. I've got some large shrapnels. I have a sculpted. Um, I've got a, a couple of oriented pieces. Even, I think, a bullet. So we'll take a look at those today. Enjoy. So for starters, we're going to look at these 12 small Sokotaline's. Now these are all oriented, most of them have a shield shape, but each has its own little special characteristics. So we'll go through these one by one briefly, just to show you what they look like. But these are really cool pieces. Now this piece is kind of special. It's a true bullet. Look at that area right there. This has the classic bullet nose cone shape, with all the flow lines. It also has some regum lifting on the back that will have the rollover lipping on it. But what makes it really the coolest one is that front shield face and those flow lines right there. This piece is one of the larger pieces I bought. It has the classic round shield shape, the back is regma lifted, there is rollover lipping completely around all the edges. Now this piece is a little different from all the others. It has a bullet nose on that tip right there. See it comes around to the left. The rollover lipping is complete around the whole circumference of that tip. There's a lot of rollover lipping on the rest of its body as well. Uh, this piece stands out from the others and it's fairly unique in that respect. It's kind of elongated where the others are more or less rounded. Pretty cool. Now this piece is about as close as I could get to finding a true bullet. The rollover lipping at the top of the piece is about uh, 25 to 50 percent around the circumference. It does have the elongated form of a bullet. All in all, it's still a very oriented piece. This is another oriented piece I purchased in Tucson this past year. I was kind of on an oriented Sakotaline kick. On the rear side, you see rollover lipping on the entire circumference, including some frothing. Now, the front has also some rollover lipping, but another cool feature on this thing is that little hook right there. This piece is any larger. It could be probably a bottle opener, but another fantastic piece of oriented Sokotaline. Here's another example of Sakotaline showing the oriented shield shape. What's cool about this one is on the back side, there are several regma lips that have rollover lipping on every edge. This is another example of a small Sakotaline showing the classic shield shape. The back of this has a regma lip that has rollover lipping completely around the edge, right there. The front also has some rollover lipping. All in all, it's kind of a plain piece, but it's uh, kind of interesting nonetheless. Now this piece is extremely interesting. See that right there? That's a secondary impact crater on the front of the shield. Not only that, but on the back side, where you expect to have some frothing, you not only have the frothing, but there are two secondary impact craters. Here's one on the front side. And it's got the classic shield shape. But apparently, it was in a lot of debris. Now, there's the backside. It does have the frothing. It's got the lipping around the edge. Those two secondary impact craters. This is a very cool piece. This is another oriented piece of Sakotaline displaying the classic nose cone shield with rollover lipping on the trailing side. You can see the rollover lipping is 360 degrees around the edge. It also shows the typical foaming on the surface. This is yet another example of a typical oriented Sokotaline showing this unusual shield shape. On the back you see the normal rollover lipping around the circumference and the frothing. What's cool about this piece are those three regma lips you see on the rear side. They have formed during the, the entry process through the atmosphere and have sort of melted over. Pretty cool.
This piece shows the characteristic nose cone shape of an oriented meteorite. The trailing edge, however, shows evidence of being ripped apart during its breakup during the flight through the atmosphere. Many of the rough edges have been smoothed over by melting during its flight through the atmosphere. There are also many areas that show lipping. This piece has a classic nose cone shape. It has flow lines completely around the circumference. The back displays a frothy trailing edge as well as lipping around the circumference as well. All right, so we just finished up with the small oriented pieces. Now let's go to the larger shrapnel pieces. This is a Coetaline. It's 1,417 grams. I bought this back in 2014, I believe. So I've had it about eight years. And as you can see, there is some lipping and some melting. And a little bit of orientation, but it's kind of a nice big piece. And there's a little bit of rollover edge right there. What I really like is this little scoop in here. A little bit of melting right there. But it looks to be a little bit of orientation on this side. You can see right in here the flow lines and a little bit of rollover lipping around this edge. So this is a gorgeous piece. You can't find them like this too much anymore, at least not for the price I got this thing at. Get a little more light on this thing. But yeah, look at the flow lines down in here. This thing is just beautiful. That's how I display it right there. So this is my next largest Sicotaline shrapnel. It's 1,214 grams. I bought this in 2013, back when I was first getting into meteorite collecting. As you can see on this edge up in here, you see a lot of flow lines. Excuse my flashlight trying to illuminate this. Around in here especially. This looks to be more or less the leading edge. What's cool about this piece is it has more or less a hole through it, right there. Now, I didn't see this feature for a couple of years, and one day I was looking at it, and I happened to put a flashlight behind it, and I saw a little beam of light coming through. I thought, oh, cool. So, I put a string through there just to highlight it. So, what you have around this side is a lot of jagged edges. You have some rollover lipping in that area. Um, but look at the violent nature of this piece. You can imagine the explosion that happened to tear this big a chunk off the main mass. So this was actually a very nice piece, and I got I got lucky when I found this. You see flow lines right here. Side so highlight those and kind of accentuate those. But the main flow lines are right here. All this massive flow lines. I thought somebody had taken a grinder to this thing at one time for some reason back in my more naive days but those are flow lines all over the place more rollover lipping right here very nice piece here's another piece of Sakotaline that has amazing flow lines and lipping on this this started out as a shrapnel but I think it's more transitional going from shrapnel to oriented because there's so much melt on this. It's just an amazing, amazing little piece. You have a lot of flow lines in this area, a lot of rollover lipping, especially in these two areas right here. I just can't get over how many features are on this thing. And somewhere on here, there's also a secondary impact crater, which I'll try and find a little bit later. In fact, it's right there. There it is right there. Secondary impact, it looks like there may be two of them. Very cool little piece. The back side, it's all shrapnel, typical shrapnel. The edges have shown a rollover. So I think it was more or less oriented in that orientation, I think, is coming in. But this piece is just outstanding. It's probably one of the better pieces I have. Look at all that melt right there. Amazing piece. area right here. It's probably the best part of the whole thing. Look at all those lines. 
amazing. Of course, I had to save the best for last. This is a completely regmolifted piece of Sakota Lanes, 240 grams. And I bought this back in 2019, so I've only had it about four years. But look at all those beautiful peaks and valleys. Absolutely stunning on this piece. The other side here. It's not a bad angle on the whole thing. Flow lines, roll over lipping, galore. There's nothing bad to say about this. Got some frothing right there. Beautiful. Here's another view of the Sakota lean. Gives you a little bit better idea what the sides look like. Absolutely drop dead gorgeous. Well, there we have it. That's a quick view of all 16 of my Sakota Lanes. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. So until next time, this is Ron Natchez signing off.